Hello and happy Wednesday. So today I want to show you something that I bought from Timu. Um, this just looked interesting and yes it was an impulse buy. I'm not a tarot card kind of guy but I thought the idea of TV series tarot cards was just interesting and I was curious. So this was $5.98 and free shipping. I noticed on Amazon the same uh, pack of cards is like $24. So I recommend buying this on Timu. Um, get some coffee. Sorry, long day of work. Um, so I don't know exactly what to expect. So I thought I would um, flip through these cards. And we could figure out what each show is. So I'll just start out by saying that they're uh, slightly, they're about tarot card size, a little smaller. But they're slightly larger than a standard playing card, as you can see. Um, so, however, I've seen some tarot cards be pretty big. And, um, that I don't, I'm not a, like I said, I'm not a tarot card kind of guy. Um, I only got this because it's TV series tarot. And I just wanted to see what shows were going to be here. I, I'm not even sure. And, you know, I might need some help. So get ready to leave some comments. I, if I can't figure out what the show is, I'm, I know some of you will. So anyway. The card itself is printed on high quality paper, plasticized, and there is, it's die cut, and there is a loading uh, pattern on it, like your that awful thing we see when we don't have a good Wi-Fi connection. And I'm not sure what they were thinking, because you know maybe because we're in the streaming world now, that's what you might see when you're waiting for your show to load. Um, I mean, I grew up in the days of. Well, our first TV was a black and white. So when I was a kid, I remember turning off the TV. You had that little dot that just sort of like, you know, slowly descended down the screen. So, yeah, I mean, it's a new world of streaming. So let's go through these cards and see what they are. So the first one, oh, this is easy for me. The first one is clearly JR from Dallas. Um... It's a pretty good picture. Um, it doesn't exactly look like Larry Hagman, but that's clearly supposed to be Larry Hagman sitting on a on a cow throne. And I guess this is, I don't know what the, is that the crowns or the, I don't know what the tarot um, suits are. Uh, is it the four of cows? I don't know. But um, you can help me with this if you're a tarot card kind of person. But this is, J.R. Ewing from Dallas, and he is, he is, or maybe he's just the one of something because he's holding up the star. Maybe he's like the king of stars. So that could be it. And, you know, that makes sense because Dallas is in Texas, the star, Lone Star. So there's a lot of thought put into this. It says it's made by uh, David Corsi and Gero um, Giglio. So, uh, it sounds like some Italian names. Um, so anyway, let's continue. This is interesting. The next card, I'm guessing, and I may be wrong, that this is, well, my first thought was McLeod, which was an old show from the 70s, but he also was holding the star. This could also be like Yellowstone, maybe, which I have not watched. Maybe this is Yellowstone. So if you know what this is supposed to be, feel free to leave a comment. I'm not exactly sure. Um, the next card. Oh, this is easy. Uh, it's Sherlock. And that looks a bit like Benedict Cumberbatch. Um, So with his magnifying glass looking at the star and he's in front of 221B Baker Street. I like this card so much. So you almost just want to keep this one out. 
but that's obviously Sherlock, and he's dressed as Benedict, dressed in that show with a scarf and long coat. So, that's a pretty easy one. Okay. Next is, this is Murder, She Wrote. That's supposed to be Jessica Fletcher with her typewriter, and she... You know, it's kind of creepy, too. I mean, let's just kind of think about it. They're all holding these odd, mystical, occultist symbols. So it's almost like these, you know, comfort-viewing franchises are, like, haunted. So that's, you know, kind of cool and creepy. So just thought I'd throw that out. Next card is uh, Downton Abbey. I recognize High Clear Castle behind them. We have the maid bringing out some tea and two of the ladies from Downton Abbey. It could be Sybil or it could be uh, Lady Mary or the Dowager. I'm not sure. It's kind of hard to tell who they're supposed to be. Um, then I guess this is the six of stars. Or wait, six, seven, eight of stars. I'm, or, oh, I'm sorry, ten of stars. That must be what this is. The Ten of Stars. Okay. So. So far so good. We're getting them pretty good. This is. Um, It has. Is this Weeds? Is that what the show is? Weeds or Weed or whatever. Um, That's my guess at least. The girl looks like this ac actress who's in that show. She was in Fried Green Tomatoes I think. Uh, I can't recall her name. Um, so I'm getting... I, the, those appear to be uh, hemp or cannabis plants behind her. And um, nine of stars. And she seems to be holding a, a weed facilitating pipe. So um, that's my guess. I have not watched the show, but I've seen ads for it. The next card is, okay, um, okay, he looks like he's living in like a shack, maybe he's wiring something, I'm not, he's got tools, you know, I'm not exactly sure what the show is, is that William H. Macy maybe, I know he's in some show now, like, vulgar or vile or something i can't remember what it's called i haven't watched it i liked him from fargo but i'm not sure what this show is supposed to be i guess this is the eight of stars if you can help me feel free the next card is tarzan if that's tarzan that was pretty easy i guess the tarzan was a tv show several times when I was a kid, there was a Tarzan TV show, and I guess, you know, there's a new one. So, that's probably a pretty easy one. The next card is a guy. He is holding some scales. He's smoking a cigar. The other guy's drinking a coffee. I have no idea. Mad Men? I don't know. I didn't watch it. So, I'm going to need your help on this one. I don't know what that's supposed to be. The next card... Is this Fargo? I don't know. Um, I know Fargo was a TV show. It looks like something that you would see in Fargo. But that's a very specific scene with a station wagon crashed into a sign and... A man wearing a fur hat dragging another man, and he's bloody. I'm thinking some kind of, like, Fargo, maybe the, the limited series. I don't know. As you can see, Trixie scratched me here, so. My kitten. She's still a kitten, so she gets very playful. Okay. Uh, that looks like the guy on Lost. He played Dr. Arts. Is this... Or is that R Raymond Burr and Ironside? I honestly don't know. Ironside was an old show when I was a kid. 
but it looks like that guy plays arts. I'm not sure. My guess is Ironsides, which is an old show. I don't know if they're going to go back that far, but they did have Dallas. This is... Um, the Borgias? Or maybe one of those shows, the Medicis, or one of those shows about Florence. It looks like they're working on building a cathedral. I'm not sure. Once again, I'm a little stumped. So I might need some help with this card too. Next card. Uh, he's dancing some fame. Is this fame? He's wearing leg warmers. So I'm thinking 1980s fame, maybe. Uh, that's my guess. I'd probably do better if this was a movie one. This one. There is a hand holding a record, a piano, and some smoke coming out of this thing. I, I have no idea what this is. I am not sure what this show is, so I'm going to need help with this one too. This card is... Uh... Haven't seen it. It looks like a period piece. Man's holding a large stick out in the middle of a field that looks like it's been plowed. It looks to be maybe in the 1800s. I wonder if this is the sticks or the clubs or the staffs or whatever suit. I think so because we got a stick here now. This seems to be chips. Uh, a show from the 70s. Los Angeles, uh, except he's not wearing the usual Chips outfit. It seems to be decorated with Renaissance-looking stuff. This is tarot cards, after all, and he's holding a stick. So I think this is Chips. This is a president. It looks like Donald Trump. I don't know. Or was there a show about Donald Trump besides The Apprentice? He is kind of a television star, so is he the king of sticks or staffs or whatever? I don't know. I hope I'm not really slowly infuriating tarot card people, and I, if I am, I certainly don't mean to. Okay, um, this is Veronica Mars. She's holding an apple. She's sitting on an icy, stony-looking throne. Wearing, like, a power suit. Is this Suits? The show Meghan Markle was in? I never watched it. I should have gotten the movie one. Um, this... Guy coming home, um, he's got a bunch of sticks and he has them wrapped up like it's a present. The ten of sticks, or staffs, or wands, or I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Um, not sure the show, oh, that might be, there's probably a clue in the card. This is Band of Brothers. Uh, you can recognize it from the Telltale Still. Of course, a show I watched, uh... So, I got one. Great show. Okay. Um, this is... Some superhero show? Maybe? It's the Eight of Sticks. I don't know. I'm not sure what that is. It's, a pretty, it's an interesting looking card, though. Okay, um, this 
It's just like... God, I have no idea. I don't know this show at all. Okay. Uh, guy getting out of a SUV. Oh, it's Walker, Texas Ranger. Okay, got that one. Chuck Norris. Okay. Okay, so that's Walker, Texas Ranger. This is Rome, I'm guessing. Gladiators. Uh, I mean, unless there's another show about gladiators that I don't know about, this must be the HBO show called Rome. Um, this is Glee or something, maybe? One of those kids shows, High School High or Glee or whatever that one is, High School Musical. That's what I'm guessing. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking six feet under with that tree there. Six feet under, is that what you think? Maybe. Some of these are hard. I thought I would do a lot better than this. I'm kind of embarrassed. I, I'm not like a massive TV watcher. I mean, I, but I thought I would do a little better than this. Um, but dang, I mean, some of these are just stumping the heck out of me. <laughs> just don't know. I might need some some help with this. Um, please leave some comments. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just showing you pictures now. Um, here is... Oh, this is Battlestar Galactica, because that is definitely Edward James Olmos. Um, so, and he's looking at Earth. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Battlestar Galactica. Okay, got one. This is a Porsche, a bottle of what appears to be Jack Daniels, a guy riding on his laptop. Hollywood. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure what this one is. Don't know. Uh, uh, this is obviously Xena. She's got her little circle throwy thing and her sword. And that looks a bit like Lucy Lawless. Popular show when I was in my 20s. Okay, so we got one. Xena. Okay, this is... She's also, this is the suit, this must be the swords. This is, uh, she's like a medical examiner, but it, maybe this is, um, well, it's one of them CSI or forensic files or, um, one of those shows. But she doesn't look like the girl on, is it NCIS? The one, the one girl who's real, like, punked out, gothic or whatever. I don't think it's her. She would be easier to tell. So it's one of those like forensic crime solving shows. Uh Oh, this is an easy one. This is Tony Soprano from The Sopranos. He's the king of swords. He got his cigar. His, his easy shirt. The only thing they got about got wrong probably... Is I don't think Tony Soprano would ever wear tennis shoes. Unless that's supposed to be Shine. No, I don't think so. Tony Soprano would never wear sneakers. <laughs> okay. Next. Uh, this must be the... Uh, that biker show. The, uh, uh, I can't remember what it was called. Uh, but it had Ron Perlman. Uh, gosh, I never really watched it, but yeah, it's a show about bikers. It had Ron Perlman and it had another actor, uh, who went off to Hollywood. I, it had the girl from the lady from uh, Married with Children. I can't remember what it's called. Okay, um, this one is 
a guy in a red shirt on an alien planet dead that must be star trek <laughs> the death of the red shirt and it's really funny because it's the tin of swords and it's a, it's one of security cards that's actually the funniest card i've seen so far so this is star trek I and mean, that's really funny okay oh uh, this one is the nine of swords she's waking up from a nightmare there's a giant eye of like twilight zone maybe um Not sure. Okay. Uh, this is, must be orange is the new black. Uh, it's the Eight of Swords. And uh, this was a really popular show. Orange is the new black. Okay. Next card. This is... The Seven of Swords... I'm trying to get some clues. I don't think it's the X Files. That looks a little like Motor, but it doesn't look like Scully. There's some kind of partners, cops or something. I'm not sure what the show is, but it's. I don't know. Next card. This is a Viking. One of the Viking shows. Is it just called the Vikings? Uh, the Six of Swords. Uh. Yeah, I think it's just like the Vikings. Coffee. Okay. Uh, this is... Lost. That's Jack. That's one of the other survivors. Maybe Locke, who's walking. Yeah, so that's Lost. Once Upon a Time, one of the greatest shows ever, but it kind of lost a lot of its mojo as time went on. This is... Two guys at a funeral, they're laughing. Uh, four of Swords, I'm not sure. Uh, this also looks like Six Feet Under with the tree out there. So, and then Six Feet Under, the plot, two brothers and the dad dies. I don't know. I would guess, that's two that I guess to Six Feet Under. Maybe none of them are. This is some, uh, heart show, doctor show, MASH, or, or Quincy, or one of the, you know, it's kind of hard to say, uh, Grey's Anatomy. It's some medical show. It's the Three of Swords. I think the last suit is cups. So we've been through sticks, swords, and stars. So I think we got to get to cups. This is some courtroom show. The good fight or shoot. I don't know. Don't recognize them, but there's lots and lots of court shows. Um, this one. Huh. Just pulling a sword out. Uh, is there a King Arthur show? Okay, it appears to be like pulling a sword out of a stone. Must be some show about King Arthur that I don't know about. Maybe it's one in Italy. I don't know. Because I think these are designed in Italy. Uh, the <clears throat> Easy one. That's Henry Winkler. And it even looks like him. This is Happy Days, and that's Fonzie. It's the King of Cups. <clears throat> Magnum P.I.? Easy one. <clears throat> so, uh, he also, is he... Oh, he's the king. He's the Knight of Cups. I get it. Oh, not sure. 
a crime show. <coughs> Excuse me. It's got a fish, uh, some kind of chemical. I'm not sure what that is. It's not Breaking Bad. Um, this is... I don't know. Desperate Housewives? I'm not sure. Don't recognize this one. Uh, Adam's Family. Okay, that's an easy one. Wednesday, Pugsley, Gomez, and Morticia in the house. And a beautiful card, too. It's really, really a gorgeous card. And that's, once again, a popular show. And it's really sad that just the other day, the actual, the original Wednesday passed away. That's very sad. Next is... Um, Oh, that's Jeff Daniels. So that's that news show. Uh, I've never watched it. It's about like a news network. Yeah. Um, this one, this has got to be the X-Files. I'm almost positive. Or Unsolved Mysteries. It's it, it, the UFO, the guy in the suit. But X-Files, usually you think of Mulder and Scully. Unless there's another UFO show I don't know about. Uh, true. What's this? Uh, guy sitting on the couch. There's like a lot of different things in each cup. I have no idea what this is. I don't know. There's some. I'm sure these are really clever clues because some of them are the ones I've recognized. Here's like two people in the back of an ambulance. Not sure I know that one. Uh, some kind of crime scene investigator. Is this Bosch or... I don't know. As I said, I wish this was about movies. Because I don't... I, as you can see, I'm probably like... Maybe one out of every five I'm getting. Okay, easy one. Big Bang Theory. That's Sheldon. Wearing his green lantern shirt. Okay, that's an easy one. Got one. Okay. This one is easily that's Sex and City. Uh Carrie with her laptop. Samantha, Miranda, and uh Yeah. That's they don't really look like them, but that's who they're supposed to be. This is another cop show. Mint the mentalist? I don't know. Like I said. Or maybe Dexter. Maybe I already passed Dexter. That's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid I already passed Dexter because there's no way they could do this without Dexter. Um, I have no idea. Some lawyer show. I don't know. Uh, red Couch. Uh, don't know. Christmassy looking wreath? I don't know. Uh, I want to say The Walking Dead. Because it looks a little like Rick. But he's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those zombies. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. It's it's The Walking Dead. Um, Miami Vice. Easy one. Crockett and Tubbs. Uh, Florida Sun. Palm Trees. Okay, uh, we got one, Miami Vice. This is Twin Peaks, Agent Cooper, Laura Palmer, and there's a lobster on top of her. Okay. Uh, Firefly, that's uh, Kaylee, Kaylee, and the Serenity... a good one uh is this the one with that had kevin spacey no 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 no. this is mad men this is the beginning of mad men with the john Han show yeah yeah that's a good one okay i'm getting these now um hannibal i'm guessing i think this is hannibal Uh, this is Breaking Bad. 
that's clearly Walter White. This is some creepy thing on a bus. I'm not sure, but it looks creepy. Don't know. It looks like a good show, though. Um, this must be Dexter? Blood Splatter? Yeah, I think this is Dexter. I think. But I never really... I only watched, like, the first season. And that was years ago. Some Law & Order show. Uh, I'm not sure which one. Uh, maybe it's Law & Order. Okay. <laughs> Um, Frozen Game of Thrones yeah I think this is the White White Walkers yeah this is Game of Thrones I think pretty gruesome card this is what is that it's not the house is it he's got a beard I don't know I don't know maybe uh, some girl with a werewolf is there a werewolf show? I I don't know. I don't know it. Little House on the Prairie. Gotta be. Everyone, Michael Landon always dressed like that. I'm not sure. Okay, I remember that one. Mork and Mindy. Pretty good card. Um... Uh, It looks like some kind of cardinal. Uh, maybe another one like the Borgias or... I bet those are popular in Italy. Okay. Um, not sure. Guy in a suit looking sinister. Not sure who it's supposed to be. Uh, Veep? That's my guess. Uh, Bewitched, Samantha. Knows the moon. Yeah, that's got to be Bewitched. This is the one that was on the cover. Is this the Mentalist? I don't know. I'm not sure. And finally, Doctor Who. Unmistakably Doctor Who. There's K9. He's wearing his signature scarf. Okay. Okay, uh, is that Sylvester McCoy? I'm not sure. Here's an ad for the company, an invitation to the website, and the cover card. So there you go. It's a nice set. If you're a movie, if you're a TV person, there's a lot of in-jokes. It was very entertaining to go through that. I actually maybe got 20% of them right. Um... But for $6, it was a lot of fun, and, and I hope you enjoyed watching tonight, today, Wednesday night. So, maybe I'll learn how to read tarot cards at some point with this deck. Uh, maybe I can do a video, a tutorial. <laughs> I have, I also, just for fun, um, this was also really cheap, and... I liked this one better because it's tarot cards too, but what I liked about it is it looks real old. And I like the old style. Like I said, I'm not into these, but I like the Latin and the old, you know, uh, this style of artwork, this medieval style, I really appreciate it. So I just thought this would be interesting to give me ideas for drawing or, you know, just... And it has that old creepy vibe to it. So I really do. I think I really like this deck a lot. And this was much smaller. This is more like this st the size of playing cards. But oh, there goes my stomach. I need to get something to eat. Okay. Um, anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, please, uh, if you like my channel, if you like what I do, uh Go ahead and subscribe and, and click the bell icon and um, and uh, leave a comment, a thumbs up. All of that helps my channel considerably. So if you can help, I appreciate it.
and until Friday, I guess. Bye.